today I thought I'd show you how I prepare uh, pork side ribs. Yes, we're having spare ribs for dinner. Uh, it is, um, I have pork side ribs here, 2.224 uh, kilogram. So uh, I would say this is good for a, a family of like four. For my husband and I, we split this into two meals. Basically do it all at once and then just reheat the second portion when we're ready to have some more. Um, it is very simple to do this and I washed my hands first as always. But we take the take the spare ribs out of the parcel, the package. Ugh. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Oh well. That's what they make dishcloths for, so you can clean that up. Okay, now, put one thing aside for now, and what I used to do was take out my uh, electric knife in order to cut these up. And what I've found since is even better. I just take my Wiltshire Stay Sharp knife and uh, it is much easier to cut them up with and not as much strain on the electric carving knife. <laughs> um, what I do is I cut them between the uh, bones just like so. That leaves a, a lot of meat on each bone. Yes, there's some fat there, but some fat is necessary. <laughs> um, so I cut them up that easy. And uh, I'm throwing them in my big Dutch oven pot here. Because once they're all cut up and in the pot, I will be putting that on with some water in it to boil. Because these are pork, I'm always concerned with safety and I like to know that things are cut thoroughly when they're pork or chicken or beef, you know, things things that you could get sick if you're not cooked right. So continue cutting them up as I'm doing and it's not terribly, terribly hard until we come to one that doesn't want to cooperate. So what we do with that is we cut it into a bigger chunk because once they're cooked that'll come apart easy um, so cut it as you as you will as you can and uh, as I said this this will feed about four family of four or three if there's a hungry guy involved um, so this is this is the straightforward simple part of cut it up, put it in the pot, and boil it. Now I boil them for I, I'd say a good half hour, and then you know, uh, because after this they're going in the slow cooker. But as I said, I like to make sure they're they're cooked through. Um, and since they go in the slow cooker with sauce, it's not so easy to see if you want to test whether they're cooked. So we'll just do this. And I'm going to stop the camera in between uh, parts. So you have hit bone there. But the Wiltshire cuts right through. I love these knives. I have one in all the sizes. So, we go like this, and there we go, and that's all of it cut up. Now, as you can see, that's a full pot. So I'm going to add some water into this, and uh, put them on to boil for that half hour I was talking about, and I'll be right back with the next step. And here we have the spare ribs in the pot of water 
on the stove. I have put it at nine for now. Uh, one word of warning though, keep an eye on it because as the uh, water boils, the fat will liquefy somewhat and start to foam up and you'll see that. Um, so you have to keep an eye on that so that it doesn't overflow the pot. Just turn the heat down a little bit, keep it on a slow boil for like half an hour and you should be good because they are going in a slow cooker after that. So um, they'll be continuing to cook there. So half an hour in the water, you know they're cooked. Be right back with the next step. Okay, we're back. Uh, it's been about half an hour, and these are now really boiled. So we're going to take them uh, via tongs, trying to get most of the water off so that it doesn't dilute the sauce. And we're going to put them into my slow cooker bowl here. And I'm trying to pack them in evenly so that they'll all fit in there. But what I like about the slow cooker is you can set it and just leave it there. Uh, it's not like a pot on the stove you have to watch all the time. So um, the slow cooker part is mainly for um, simmering it in the sauce. This is pretty much cooked it through. They're, they're, it's going to still need more cooking, obviously. These are big pieces. Uh, but this gave it a good boost towards being cooked. And now it won't matter um, about the time in the slow cooker because that's just going to finish cooking it. And there we go. Just a couple more pieces. What I also like about boiling them is that the, uh, the fat does come off quite a bit, so they're actually better. Oh, look, one fell off the bone already. <laughs> That's a good start. Okay. Nothing more in the water. Nope. Okay. Let's get the water out of here. Now what I do is, once they're in here, I use uh, commercial sauce. Uh, tonight it's going to be honey garlic, and this is great value. Uh, I got it at Walmart for like two bucks. Can't, can't lose on that one. Uh, they're pretty good sauces, but there are other brands. VH makes great cooking sauces, um, but I use these as well, so why not save money at the same time? And they're good so all you do now is pour the sauce evenly over your ribs making sure you get pretty much most of them uh, part way through I uh, rustle them around a bit so that everything gets evenly coated and access to the heat and this is uh, Honey garlic. Last time we had uh, uh, straight garlic, but there's teriyaki. There's all kinds of flavors you can put in this, in uh, your ribs. Uh, this is just what we chose tonight. Um, so this goes into the slow cooker now for, um, I like to give it at least an hour, probably an hour and a half. To make sure that it's really really well simmered in this sauce and takes on the flavor and then it's simply a matter of uh, we make mashed potatoes with our ribs and um, whatever vegetable you feel in the mood for and there you go there's dinner so i hope um, you've enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like and um, i'll see you in the next video Bye for now.